Absolute values containing less than inequalities. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way to solve absolute value problems containing less than inequalities. The four different examples that I'm going to be focusing on in this tutorial are as follows. An absolute value containing a positive x, an absolute value containing a negative x, an absolute value that is less than or equal to zero, and an absolute value less than a negative number. The steps that will be performed are as follows. Write out the entire inequality and determine if a solution is possible. Rewrite the inequality but without the absolute value bars. On the opposite side of the inequality, write in the opposite numeric value. Insert the same inequality symbol on the left as shown on the right. Solve for x. Separate the inequalities if necessary. Check range values. Insert in between the two inequalities an AND or an OR where applicable. So let's begin with the first example. The first step is to write out the entire inequality and determine if a solution is possible. In this case, it is possible because a positive number can definitely be less than the value of 5. Next, and this is the real secret to solving absolute value problems, is to rewrite the inequality over again but without the absolute value symbols. Then, on the opposite side of the inequality, write in the opposite numeric value. The next step is to insert the same equality symbol on the left as shown on the right. Then, solve for x by adding 3 to all parts and dividing by 2 on all parts. And finally, separate the two inequalities with the word AND. All problems that originally contained a less than symbol will have the word AND in its answer. Otherwise, it will have an OR. It is very important that when the final solution is written, to always write the answer lowest value first with the letter on the left. The solution is now complete. Now let's try another example. The first step is to write out the entire inequality and determine if a solution is possible. In this case, it is possible because a positive number can definitely be less than or equal to the value of 9. Next, and the real secret to solving these types of problems, is to rewrite the inequality over again but without the absolute value symbols. Then, on the opposite side of the inequality, write in the opposite numeric value. The next step is to insert the same inequality symbol on the left as shown on the right. Then solve for x by adding 5 to all parts and dividing by 2 on all parts. However, when dividing by a negative number, we always change the direction of the inequality. And finally, separate the two inequalities with the word AND. Remember, all problems that originally contained a less than symbol will have the word AND in its answer. Otherwise, it will have an OR. It is very important that when the final solution is written, to always write the answer lowest value first with the letter on the left. The final solution is now complete. Now let's try another simple example. The first step is to write out the entire equation and determine if a solution is possible. In this case, it is possible because a positive number is definitely less than or equal to zero. Next, and the real secret to solving absolute value problems, is to rewrite the inequality over again but without the absolute value symbols. Then, on the opposite side of the inequality, write in the opposite numeric value. In this case, the absolute value of zero is zero. The next step is to insert the same inequality symbol on the left as shown on the right. Then solve for x by adding 8 to all parts and dividing by 2 on all parts. And finally, separate the two equations with the word AND because the original inequality started out with the less than symbol. Remember, it is very important that when the final solution is written to always write the answer lowest value first with the letter on the left, the final solution is now complete, which can be written as either a conjunction or as a single equality. And finally, we come to the last example, which is the easiest of all. The first step is to write out the entire equation and determine if a solution is possible. In this case, it is not possible because a positive number will never be less than a negative number. Therefore, there is no solution that will solve this inequality. I hope this tutorial was very helpful to you. By applying these simple steps, you too can solve any absolute value problems containing less than inequalities as easily as I've shown here. Thank you for watching.